Travis and Sean here, just hanging out. It's my WRX channel. You're watching right now. See you guys. All right, so we're in Seattle. Um, wife is getting a new car, so I'm just going over there to take a look at it, maybe do some paperwork and whatever. My wife is getting that car, her old Honda. That's going to my oldest son, and that's pretty much it. So it's just a regular Impreza. It's not a performance car. It's not one of those cars that I'm going to modify. But, you know, it is a Subaru, so I figured I'd fill you guys in um, and show you guys me picking up our latest Subaru. Alright, so we're here at the dealer, and this is the car she's picking up. It is an Impreza. It's a manual. One of the rare ones, rare manuals that you'll see. Alright, just drove this home today. This is the new addition to the family. It is another Subaru. So this is the wife's car. Um, the other car, uh, her Honda Fit, is going to my oldest son, as I just mentioned earlier. But this is pretty much it. So this is a closeout model. Um, this is a 16, as you know, the 17s are coming out in just a few months. So the dealers are basically just giving these away. One big reason uh, we went with this is because one, she needed all wheel drive because of the weather here and she wanted a manual. This is the sport model. Um, it has all the extra goodies that you could see. It has that little thing on the bottom. And this comes in the front. See that little, let me close that. See that little, they call it a mud flap, but whatever. Um, it doesn't have the crossbars for the roof rack, but you know, um, we'll just get that later on in the aftermarket. And on the front, nothing really special, just the fog lights. And yeah, so this is the mid-level model, not the premium model, which is a whole hell of a lot more. The only thing I've done is uh, put a license, flame, uh, license plate frame on it to keep that little paper thing from um, wobbling around in the wind. Might just take it off, but... So when you open the door, you're greeted with that big smell of new car. So 275 miles on the clock. It has this stuff on it that I don't know how to use yet. Home like mirror, you turn that down. But yeah, it's just a basic thing. Oh, it's got butt warmers on it too. So, and there, here is the paper that came with it. Um, yeah. So we're asking 22 for it, but with tax and license, uh, we came out with the deal. Oh, it has the um, all-weather mud, not not mud flaps, but all-weather floor mats. So not bad gas mileage, 28 miles a gallon. So it says we we'll probably get better than that. But yeah, just a new addition to the family. Probably won't do much to this car except for maybe put some LEDs or whatever in it. But um, it is what it is. Car is sitting right over there. May just uh, drive it to work every once in a while. But that's about it. Yeah, it is a hatchback, so it comes with this little cover thingy. There's the regular carpeted floor mats and this little mat right here. All right, so I've had this car for two hours and I'm already changing out the rear sway bar. So you can see the difference is the stock bar and this is the stock WRX, that uh, sway bar that came out of that car. So really simple install. It took me about 10 minutes to take it off just on ramps and yeah so supposedly it provides much better uh, um, cornering more neutral cornering over the stock puny pencil thin bar so I think this is 16 this is 19 so we'll see Never